Okay, so I'm back with FNAF Help Wanted, and I'm trying to beat Night 4. So if you're seeing this right now, that means I beat Night 4 of FNAF 1. I don't know why it's been so difficult, but I think I've made up a good strategy. I just listened for the animatronics. Just listen for the footsteps. Don't check the lights unless I hear them. Oh, oh, hey! Hey, wow, well, day four. I knew you could do it. Uh, hey, listen. Uh, I may not be around to send you a message tomorrow. It's, it's been a bad night here for me. Um, I'm kind of glad that I recorded my messages for you. Uh, when I did. And hey, do me a favor. Uh, maybe sometime uh, you could check inside those suits uh, in the back room. Uh, I'm going to try to hold out until someone checks. Maybe it won't be so bad. I just don't feel comfortable not checking the doors. So if I don't see Freddy, I think I can open the door. I might need to watch a playthrough though. Can I make it? Can I make it? Please. 
Foxy, don't go. Please don't go. Please, please, please. I'm not gonna make it. I think it like just turned 5 a.m. different game now oh, I'm so bad at FNAF we hope that you're enjoying the Fazbear yes. virtual experience please be aware that there may be visual artifacts left behind from the beta testing phase of development if you see any such artifacts we recommend that you not interact with them we'll weed them out eventually there's no guarantee that we'll weed them out eventually Everybody's or most people have heard the tapes already. Um, for my last episode, I'll be playing some of the tapes. So, are you having fun yet? That's great to hear. Okay. Um, I'm not. I'm like I said. I'm not doing night five just yet. When if we tried night terrors? Flashlight is. R2, teleport, closed door, L3, okay, uh, this is kind of confusing. try I don't know what I did wrong yeah I'll give it one more try and then um, we can play another game <laughs> okay thank you
got that right. I definitely heard something. Bonbon's just stuck. that one up too but I want to try plush trap flashlight stop plush trap on max it's pretty simple so there's plush trap Yeah. I gotta go test. Oh, okay. My thing got negative, so this one should be good too. Okay, I'm gonna do for now. to listen for him, but when I um, saw him moving, I didn't hear any footsteps. That's your favorite cake? IDK. Um, let's do FNAF Free Night 1, because it's pretty much just a free prize. Nothing really goes on. So, And we could do Night 2, maybe? Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We found some, some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week, so we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you, then past you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan, very old school, metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, so we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings 
says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cam. I just broke it. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you That's can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that system to make go offline. <laughs> so in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the smoke, man. And if you let that ventilation go offline, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. It's not working. Because we're still finishing FNAF 1. Eh, no, I think it's fine. So, it's pretty simple. We have a mask here. I can press. Uh, hello! Hello, hello! Yeah. Uh, hello, and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, Wait, advanced power. mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. That's that good. neat. <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around so at night. So, I'm just gonna kind of ignore the phone guy and now, talk about this know, is... This is where it so can find radio seconds to this place. place on See Earth. that? That's so, Maple while our right engineers there. don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper that. night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong oh. room. So, so then I they think, go try to find where the um, people the are, and in this case, on that's like your five. office. He takes so our station. temporary solution is this. So. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in 
a system, something about robots seeing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into a suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. My flashlight so don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Be the cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh oh, Toy Bonnie's going for the vent. So you know what that means. So Bonnie's gonna be in the vent. How is it still 3 a.m.? Oh, as I say that, do I still? see him there when like the sound played and I was like wait what and then he just appeared oh I beat it okay that was really easy for night one like yeah that was pretty easy the music box the music box though it, the music box was So we've played like, I don't know, like five games this episode, so I think it's been long enough. Um, next episode, we'll do night five of FNAF 1, and beat it off, and beat it, and then we'll keep playing FNAF 2. I think, I think that sounds good. Oh yeah, and um, so next episode will be... FNAF 1 Night 5. That might take a while, so it might be, like, the whole episode. But then, uh, I want to try to do Night Terrors, because that's how we get the ending. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to deal with Funtime Freddy, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, so subscribe and leave a like and whatever. Just do all that stuff. Yay.